70% of the Earth's surface is covered in oceans. The water in the oceans play an important role in maintaining the temperature of the atmosphere and in transporting heat from the equator towards the poles. Water is called the universal solvent due to its ability to dissolve many compounds. Its ability to dissolve ionic compounds makes the ocean salty. The most abundant ion in ocean water is chloride, followed by sodium, sulfate, magnesium, and calcium, with smaller amounts of other ions including potassium, borate, bromide, bicarbonate, and iron. The large surface area between the oceans and the atmosphere means that the oceans also hold dissolved gases. Because of their high partial pressure in the atmosphere, the oceans contain large amounts of dissolved nitrogen and oxygen. There are also measurable amounts of atmospheric trace gases, including carbon dioxide. Over time, the concentration of gases in the atmospheres stay in equilibrium with concentrations dissolved in the ocean. For example, as carbon dioxide concentrations in the atmosphere increase due to industrial activity, more carbon dioxide dissolves into the ocean. This is not an insignificant process. In fact, it is estimated that about 30% of the extra CO2 that has been added to the atmosphere by human activity has been absorbed by the oceans. This ability of the oceans to absorb carbon dioxide has reduced the global warming potential of our dependence on carbon-based fuels. Water's ability to take up large amounts of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere is due to more than just the fact that water will take up more gas as the partial pressure of that gas increases. Because carbon dioxide dissolved in water actually undergoes a chemical reaction with water, CO2 plus H2O combine to form carbonic acid, which is H2CO3. These are in equilibrium, so as carbon dioxide concentrations in the atmosphere increase, causing more to dissolve in the water, the equilibrium between dissolved CO2 and carbonic acid shifts towards carbonic acid. As an acid, by definition, carbonic acid releases hydrogen ions into the solution. It does this by disassociating into negative bicarbonate ions and positive hydrogen ions. These hydrogen ions contribute to the overall hydrogen ion concentration in the oceans decreasing the ocean's pH. This is only the beginning of a more involved process because bicarbonate, HCO3 negative, is also an acid and can further disassociate into carbonate and hydrogen ions, further decreasing the pH of the water. Carbonate can then interact with other abundant ions such as calcium and magnesium to form calcium and magnesium carbonate. The process by which changes in carbon dioxide concentrations in the ocean alter the concentration of all of these other compounds is called the carbonate buffering system. This buffering and water's ability to hold large amounts of CO2 are helping mitigate the impact of our dependence on the use of fossil fuels. This process also provides evidence of the scale of our ability to impact the oceans because as we continue to add CO2 to the atmosphere and the oceans continue to absorb large amounts of it, we are actually lowering the pH of the oceans. No small feat given the capacity, the capacity of such a large amount of water to absorb carbon dioxide.